Hello everyone and welcome inside this third video on Magica Voxel. Today we are going to explore the brush. Now, what is the brush? The brush is what allows us to interact directly with the scene. For example, we want to er erase something, we can do it. Like this. Now, uh, there are a few basic things you know before starting. Here we will choose how to interact and here in what shape. This means this mean that if you want to erase something, we might want to erase just one cube or a shape. Let's start from the beginning. If we want to attach, we want, for example, V is a shape, for example, a cube or a sphere, and in what size. We can choose the sphere or cube here, below box, and if 3D or 2D. We also can choose how big or small is pressing plus on our keyboard or minus. Like this. Uh, next is F, which is the face shape. For example, we want to create only in a face. For example, we want to cover all of this. Like this. This is useful. For example, we want to create a voxel for some voxel for the floor. Done. Next one is B, which is the box shape. Box shape is a really useful tool for creating box. For example, if we have full, we want to erase, we want to erase a shape like this one. Next, we have the line shape, which allows us to create a line, as the name says. Next we have C, which is the center shape. For example, we want to start from the center of the scene to create a circle. We can do it. But uh, another, thing, another thing that we can modify here is uh, the circle or the square. For example, on the square, really useful. And also, if we leave uh, this, we will have a single voxel as center. But if we have a scene like this, for example, the center is not one cube. It's better to have four of them. So we have to change it, odd or even size, and do it this way. Really good. Uh, I forgot to mention a few things on the other. Here in the box we have a few uh, here we have a few things. I forgot to say a few things that are for the F which is that uh, we can choose uh, how the face interact with uh, the rest of the scene, which is for color or geometry, surface or row surface color, row surface color or uh, palette color, and uh, how big is uh, the direction looking for the color. Here is uh, how the line is uh, drawn 
with uh, project line, surface, uh, straight line, a uh, few different options. We can uh, erase uh, fast uh, our scene uh, pressing uh, 0 or uh, back uh, in, in uh, our keyboard. I'm using that. Uh, see, we already see. And the last one. This is one the, of the most used because we can import other uh, other pattern uh, or other models. For example, we press P and we go on the pattern side here. On the model side, we can save file and open file. On the pattern, we can choose other models and use them to attach them in our scene. Now we have P selected, attach selected, and we select, for example, Char Knight. Here we have our knight. I haven't uh, pressed uh, the left button for uh, creating it uh, in our scene because if we press, for example, plus uh, this way, it's going to turn. And with minus, it will turn in the other direction. We can do it as many times as we want. And we have an army of soldiers, of knights. Uh, I forgot uh, a thing about uh, the uh, pattern, which is... Uh, that uh, if we use our keyboard, we can place uh, uh, an offset on uh, where we will place uh, the object, where the object we will placed will be placed. We can use the normal the normal keyboard for uh, up, down, left or right. But if we want to be up in the air, for example, for a cloud or something, we have to use the page up and down. Here, up in the sky. Uh, for a return, back to the normal uh, position, uh, on the resources, of Magica Voxel, it, there is uh, written that you should uh, press uh, home, the home key, but I, I'm not sure to have it in my keyboard. I probably don't have it, so I can't show it, show it to you. I'm sorry for that. Oops. Okay. If you want to move uh, fast between these uh, between uh, the various shape we can press uh, the letter that is written on top of them because it's a shortcut for example we want to move to our box mode we press B now on the line back L B see we can really move fast like this and it's really easy because if you don't remember exactly Take a look, you take a look and you can change. Now, here on the way we choose to interact, attaching, erasing, painting or selecting, we there are uh, some way to move fast. Pressing T, we can move to attach really fast. Attach allow us to add voxels to our scene in the shape we saw before. Like this, for example. Uh, the next is R, R that allows to erase and choose the shape. 
for example, uh, we want a sphere and we can erase with a sphere particular. Uh, next is uh, pressing G, which is going to paint brush, and we can paint. For example, we select a color and we want to paint, and here we have it. We can paint in every way we want. Cool. Uh, we can now press N, which is the select brush. Uh, this allows us to select, for example, we want to delete just a small part. We can use a box, have selected, selecting, and we can go and do this. Now we selected it, we can interact with it in any ways. For example, if we have a big scene, we might want to move it uh, different ways. I show you in I will show you in a moment uh, how you can move. Uh, We can choose to select by a box of selection. For example, we want this box right here, this square, it's not a square, anyway. or by React, uh, or by React select that allows us, that allow us to select the scene, for example. And this way we can select just a few things uh, from our scene. Uh, if we have the attach selected, we can press shift and instead of adding, we will have remove. It's a fast way to change between attach and erase attach selected and we press shift and it will, it will erase instead we leave shift and it will be back to add at the same time if we have erase selected and we erase something we might want to add it so we can press shift and it will add instead it's a quick shortcut we can use Uh, the last thing I will show you in this episode is uh, how you will move and uh, how you how these three things works. Uh, now I will show you how you can move objects. For example, we have a big scene. Uh, Going to cover everything. Uh, if we press Control, we can move the objects following the axis. No. Okay. Uh, but if we press Control and Alt, we can move freely in our scene. Really weird effect. Now, this is the selecting by surface uh, or by region as is written down. It allows us to select the voxels by the volume like this because they are all of the same color by the face they are all in the same they're all the same face 
or by the same color. That will, uh, this will select all the voxels in the scene with the same color. Very nice. Here we can uh, choose by color or by geometry connectivity, which I don't really know what changes because I I, I don't really use this uh, object, but it's something to test. It's something that you can test here how how far it will look for uh, how far it will look for uh, other uh, voxels yeah now the last thing is are these three things here we can uh, pick the, the color of a voxel for example if we pick uh, for example we have another color sec selected and we pick uh, this blue we will pick this color it's the same as uh, for example clicking old and clicking now let's paint a little bit yeah like this uh, if we press uh, in the middle, we will remove the voxels by color. For example, we will remove this one. We will remove all the green color. Yeah, or the blue one. Exactly. We can also replace all the voxels of that color with another one. Like uh, all those blue with green. Or the opposite. For example, we select the blue and we replace all the gray voxels with uh, blue. Thank you for being here. This was everything for this episode. I, ho I hope you found something uh, useful and you learned something. And uh, see you to the next video. I hope you will uh, like this video, share, subscribe, uh, and the usual stuff. Let me know what you think what you think about this in the comment and if you have some problems let me know. See you to the next video. Bye bye.